Or we can always go to the video tape if that's yeah. Good. This is the Color of Money event year 1996, a very intense singles match between two young legends of pool. The magician from the Philippines, Efren Batareyes, and the pearl, Earl Strickland. A three-day race 220 nine-ball match challenge. Winner take all prize of $100,000. We will try to look at this controversial rack where both players argue whether a foul is committed or not. It all started with this shot by Efren. Yet again, another safety. Efren attempting a safety play. No, 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 no. Earl Strickland suddenly called a foul. Well, we can always go to the video tape if that's yeah. Strickland continues to disagree with Efren, even interrupting him while explaining his side. Another gentleman came and insisted that it's not a foul and that it hit the five ball first. The audience also intervened and agreed that it's a good shot. Let's take a look at this again in slow motion. In the rule of 9 ball, if no ball is pocketed, the cue ball or the object ball should hit a rail after contact. In this case, the cue ball bounces off the rail, it hits the 5 ball first, and then hits the rail. It's almost very simultaneous that it looked like the cue ball hits the rail first and then the 5 ball. That's why Earl complained, but it was later judged as not a foul, since it hits the five ball first and then the cue ball bounce off the rail. The game continued as they came to a conclusion. Strickland disagrees and continues to get upset as the referee dismissed his appeal. Strickland made a good counter safety, but Efren can still see the five ball. Strickland murmurs as he gets back to his chair, feeling very distressed. Efren has to make another safety play. Yeah, interesting turn of events here. Watch this very carefully. Now we're in the tactics here with this game. Efren made the same shot as the previous one, but much more obvious hitting the five ball first. Strickland stood up and tried to clarify things up. Let's take a look at it again in slow motion replay and watch the cue ball carefully as it bounces off the rail towards the five ball. The cue ball hits the five ball first and then it hits the rail. This was a very delicate shot and it was clear it's not a foul and that it's a good shot. Strickland agrees this time and accepts the decision. He made another good safety but Efren can still see the five ball. He has to think and decide how to manage this one. He has to make another safety or gamble a bank shot, a very crucial decision. It's a spectacular execution. It's spectacular. Oh, oh, wow. oh wow. A perfect safety play by the magician managing to hide the cue ball behind the eight ball. Watch Earl Trickland kicking one rail towards the five ball. Great hit. Great. He hit the five ball and avoids the foul. It was a difficult kick, but he still made a full contact on the object ball. Efren must decide to play safe or play the tough combination. A wise choice could predict the outcome of this rack. A single mistake here can cost him the whole match, so he has to take his time and decide very carefully. A very great 5 to 7 combination shot by Efren Reyes. He also made an excellent position on the 5 ball, predicting its path even before the shot was made. That was a massive shot. Two years ago, Efren won the 1994 US Open 9 ball event by defeating the back to back US Open champion Nick Varner in the finals. Oh, he's got an awful straight. He's got a big problem. He got a little too straight he's on the 8 ball. Problem. With no angle, he can only draw this shot for the 9 ball really next up down table. Incredible shot. Incredible. A very powerful draw shot with inside spin for the 9 ball. 
Efren deserved to win this rack after playing excellent safety play and tremendous shooting ability. This match demonstrated Reyes' will to win overcoming a 17-game deficit on the last day on the final three hours of the match. Efren Reyes wins it! He wins it! Efren Reyes defeated Earl Strickland and proved to be the greatest nine-ball player in the world. As the audience congratulates Efren, they hug and kissed him, showing how they love the humble magician from the Philippines. For winner of the $100,000 prize and the title of the greatest nine-ball player on earth, Efren Reyes, you truly define champion. This was held in Hong Kong in the year 1996, Efren taking home the prize of $100,000 or about to 4 million pesos. This was the largest single winning purse in the history of pool. So this is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and like this video. Stay safe everyone. Stay home and just watch pool videos.